Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Energy Sports. In today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about a question I get the most on this channel, and that is how do you unlock the speed limiter on newer e-bikes, the ones that have full displays? Because I shared with you on this channel two methods. One, the magnet method. On older e-bikes, you could actually take the magnet that is on here, which regulates the speed, and just move it to your pedals, and that bypasses the limiter or confuses it. But your speedometer will not be accurate. I also shared in, in one of my other videos on how you can change the tire size. So for example here I've got 20 inch tires. If I was to raise the panel to 26 the rotation would take longer to go around which would confuse the computer and again your speedometer would be wrong but your e-bike will go faster. Well the newest e-bikes with these full panels and I'll give you a close-up of this in just a minute will actually allow you to raise the speed on this because they sell these bikes all over the world in certain countries certain states have different speed limit requirements. Some states in the U.S. can go up to 31 miles an hour. Some countries there is no limit. This here has a thousand watt motor it's a 1200 peak motor so it's going to get a lot of power so what if i wanted to go 40 plus miles per hour well guess what guys i can with this one right here now let me show you how fast i can go on this right now all right so i've got my bike here now how do you determine when you're in maintenance mode how fast do you have changed the settings to go okay so what you need to do is it is a rear hub motor most of these are so if your motor is back here in the rear wheel all you need to do is raise this up while you are hitting the throttle this will spin and it will tell you how fast your e-bike will actually go so out of the box let's see how fast this e-bike will go without any settings so take a look at our display and I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a good look at it. So this is what it's like right now out of the box when you are running it. So I'm lifting the back tire and I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Let me put it on the highest setting, which is five. So let's go. So out of the box, as you can see, it's about 17 and a half miles per hour guys that's not going to do it for me now that was as fast as i could get this thing to go out of the box now that is just straight throttle pedal assist is different so how do you get into maintenance mode to change it well all you need to do guys this is crazy so let's go down to zero on the speed so it doesn't gun on you because some e-bikes have a walking mode then you're going to press the up and the down at the same time so if you can see right here on this display up and down at the same time that's what i'm going to do for just a few seconds and it will go into maintenance mode so if it goes here and it starts flashing here, it's resetting the odometer really simply. Just go ahead and turn your e-bike on and off and it will go right into developer mode by doing that same up and down. So this is developer mode. As you can see, it's set to 28 kilometers per hour. You can actually manually set these up all the way and I think it goes up to about 72 kilometers per hour without changing tire sizes or anything, just simply by doing this now let's check it out. So I'm up to 72 now. As you can see, I, I'm trying to go higher, but I can't. That's as high as it will go. Just hit the power button one time to confirm. Now here's where you can change your tire size if you want to go even faster. But we're just going to leave it at 20. These are 20 inch tires. So I want to know the true speed that this is going, even though I could make it go faster. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit OK. I'm going to keep it at miles per hour. So now all I'm going to do to save it is just go ahead and hold down the power button for three seconds. It goes back to your speedometer speed so now let's see how fast this guy can go again i'll lift the back wheel and i will hit the throttle Oop, let's go to level five again i always forget level five and hit the throttle same e-bike did nothing different i'm getting 22.4 25 27 30 30 miles per hour all right, so 30 miles an hour is the fastest I can go right now on this bike, but I guess what? It went faster. So how do I go even faster than that, guys? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to do that uh, tire trick here that I talk about. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Again, it went into the, uh, to the mode right there. Turn it on, off, and then hold down, up and down at the same time. It'll get into that mode again. So yes, we're gonna keep it at 72 kilometers per hour, but now we're gonna change the tire all the way up to 29 inches right here at the bottom. Can you see that on the display? I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, miles per hour. I'm gonna hold down the power button a couple seconds, goes back. So I went into maintenance mode, went into developer mode, changed the tire size, changed the max speed. Now let's see how fast we can go on level five. Hopefully this gets us up in the 40 mile an hour range, which is what my goal is. 43.6 guys, 43.6 miles per hour now. 
simply by changing the tire size bigger. A lot of people are confused thinking you have to change the tire size smaller. That is not true, guys. You want to make it bigger. It takes longer to rotate. It confuses the system and it makes you think that you are going slower than you are. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I just wanted to share with you how to unlock the limiter on the Hauchi Rhino. Guys, this is the same display that you're going to see on a lot of those newer e-bikes. Getting into settings, maintenance mode could be slightly different on yours, but more than likely it's the exact same process. So hopefully I explained it well to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Let me know which e-bike you have. Again, this is the Hauchi Rhino. I only chose this one because it is one of the newer e-bikes and it has the newer display, which is a little bit different process than previous videos where you just changed tire sizes. This one on the new panels, you can actually change the speed. I love it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for supporting the channel. Bye.